Hi, I'm Saraya Tate from MotherhoodTree.com. I'm going to be showing you an object lesson I did for the young women in my church for a lesson called Why Jesus Christ is Important in Our Lives. Basically, it's just a balloon and um, some beans. This balloon represents us or our soul or our spirit. The purpose of this balloon is to be filled and to rise above and come closer to heaven and ultimately live with Heavenly Father again. So what happens is we come down to earth and we forget everything. We forget our purpose and even if we're reminded of it at church it's easy to forget because all we remember is that we are deflated and empty and that we need to do something about it and we want to do something about it. So most of us are motivated by not having enough. So we always feel like if only we had whatever then our lives would be complete and perfect. So if only I had that the newest iPhone, then my life would be so much easier, it would be so much better, I could you know, do all these cool things on my phone. And so we start seeking after these toys and all these things that we want. And we also realize that we need money for it. So we're always constantly wanting things, and in order to get things, we always want money, and we always want more of it. So the thing is that when we get those things, so say we get more money, we get a pay, uh, raise, it actually is kind of satisfying and it's rewarding. And so we keep thinking, whoa, it's working. This is actually helping. So what I'm doing is filling up the balloon with beans. And we start getting more things in our lives and you know, they're, they're actually kind of satisfying. And they're filling, but they're kind of not, right? You can see the balloon is pretty deflated still. So we keep working towards all these things that we want, that we feel so strongly will help our lives. And then we start realizing, you know what, this is not enough. What I really need is people to like me <laughs> and to appreciate me and to praise me. And so we start revolving our efforts around impressing other people and sometimes that means buying more things you know get that new car get those new clothes say something clever on facebook get more likes you know post pictures of your awesome life and it's not that those things are necessarily bad in and of themselves but it's how we approach them and our attitude and what are we trying to do with those things I, you know, you're still kind of, you're never really satisfied. You're still not filled. And you think, I, need, I just need to do more with my life. So you start, you know, trying to plan more things in your life. And they're good and they're fulfilling and they're exciting. But we start cramming our lives more and more and more and more things to the point that we're just simply busy. Busy, 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 busy. Gotta do this, gotta do that, gotta do this. Make sure we do this. And you know, you're actually achieving a lot of things. You know, not good, but are you satisfied? Are you filled? Are you fulfilled? And what happens is that all those things, they aren't really filling us up like we want them to. They start becoming heavy. They start becoming a burden in our lives even because we start resenting that everybody else always has more than we do. Everybody else is doing more than we do, accomplishing more than we are, um, getting more things that we want and be more appreciated than we are. So those things start becoming a burden. All those things we have to do start becoming a burden and we start resenting everybody else for having what we don't have yet. So by this point, we've kind of forgotten why we're here, right? I mean, all we know is that we're exhausted, we're tired, and we're not really satisfied or happy with our lives. And so Christ says, 
Come on to me. I'm here. I'm the way. I'm what you need. I am what will fill your soul, he says. I will impart of my spirit, which shall enlighten your mind, which shall fill your soul with joy. I'm the one that will give you true happiness. Come unto me. And so, when we realize this, and we start being humble enough to actually make the effort to come unto him, and invite His Spirit into our lives and do those things that invite the Spirit in our lives for that reason, to invite Christ into our lives, then we start letting go of some of these other things in our lives. And just by doing that, we are made lighter and more clean. And Christ can come in and you've essentially made room for Him. for him to fill you up with a substance that you've actually been craving and wanting the whole time. It's not material stuff, it's his spirit. It's his love, it's his joy, it's his purpose in life and remembering why you're here. And as you do that, Christ said, come unto me all that, are, that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. He will help you Get rid of some of those burdens that you've been carrying, all these beliefs and all these ideas that you thought would help you be so happy. And you start letting go of them. So it is a little bit harder out than in. But Christ can help you get rid of some of those heavy things that you've been carrying, all those worries, all those guilt, all those doubts that you've been just carrying with you about yourself, about other people, about your life. You can start letting go through the power of Christ and His Atonement. It's not that you stop doing all those activities. It's that you start seeing things in the perspective that they were meant to be seen in. You start doing things with purpose. You start doing things with love. You start doing things with the Spirit. And the more and more you come unto Him, the more and more your soul is expanded and filled. So you feel satisfied in whatever degree of progression you are in. You feel complete. But your soul starts expanding, so you receive more room for more joy and more love and more understanding and more wisdom. And as you do that, you start rising. Christ helps you rise to your potential and he helps you come closer to God. So, if it wasn't for Christ, we actually could not come to God. Because Christ is a peace. He is a bridge. He is our advocate with the Father. So, without Christ, we would not be clean and perfect enough to come to God. So, when we come unto Christ and we are perfected in him, he is the one that makes up the difference so we can have a relationship with God. That's why Jesus Christ and His Atonement is so crucial in our lives. He's the one that is helping us come closer to God.